The annual Aquaba African Travel Market has come and gone. Its gains, if implemented by participants, will help drive tourism in Africa to the next level. Since its inception, the event has grown in volume and content, such that it is prioritized by tourism stakeholders. So today on Gogi Africa, we'll show you what went down on this year's Aquaba Travel Market. Don't go away. From colorful attires of Ghana to the beautiful faces of Rwanda, the bright and feathery costumes of the Carnival Calabar, Aquaba is always a statement about the rich value of African heritage. Known to be the only African travel market in West Africa, Aquaba, which means welcome in Ghanaian language, is a platform that brings together stakeholders in tourism and travel business. In a tourism event, we brought in close to 500 people into Lagos. That's some number. And we have helped to change how people see tourism business. We have taught Nigerians how to market their products, their destinations, Nigerians have had an opportunity to learn. We need an organization like Aquaba to educate Africans about getting together to promote their tourism. Nobody will do it for you. And those who have come into Aquaba, they have made a lot of sacrifices, but that is what it takes. Because with the sacrifices, something is coming out of it. Look at how many countries are here. South Africa is here, Gambia is here, Ghana is here. That's the way to start. Being the 13th edition, this year's event took place at the prestigious Eco Hotel and Suites in Lagos, Nigeria. During the event, people from different African countries came together to form a business relationship. It was an avenue for people to exchange business ideas and network. Uh, Aquaba is very good. We thank Nigerian people for creating this African travel market so that many people come and uh, meet competitors and also exhibit their product Yes, to improve. I mean, I would say thank you to the, the team that put this thing together. I mean, being involved in this, it's, it is, uh, it's out of this world. I'm happy because I saw Aquaba a few years ago and I'm seeing it grow and it is actually very exciting and all I can say is well done to the team. Amongst the exhibitors are airlines and tour operators, bloggers and hoteliers which seized opportunities to network and discuss business. Participants had a fun-filled day moving from one business hub to another, shopping for the best products and services that best suit their needs. Some exhibitors took out time to chat with Gogi Africa crew. The aviation industry in Nigeria is growing, and the only way it's growing is through awareness and publicity. 
Aquaba is creating that platform for travel uh, operators to get together, share ideas on how to make the business grow. Just like what is obtainable in South Africa uh, you know, and in London, where they have travel markets. Whenever such events comes up, the entire market focuses on that. The population focuses on that. It brings the information on the airline industry to the people. Why we are actually here is so that we can meet with the Kwaba clients, the exhibitors, the visitors, the organizers. We formulated a very good relationship. We have the airlines, we have the state governments, we have the tourism boards of various countries. I mean, I see Ghana, I see Rwanda, I see Dubai. Everybody's here, so we're striking up deals with them. We're presenting them with our promotional, promo special packages that we have for two operators. And even travel agents have come by, we've given them uh, packages, we have birthday packages, wedding packages, tour packages, even weekend jumbo leisure packages. And we're selling all that to everyone who has come to our stand. The tourism stakeholders, as exemplified by NATO, have sold Carnival Calabar as a destination. And it is through the instrumentality of our relationship and the MOU we have between Carnival Calabar, Destination Conservative State, and Aquaba. We met them here in the common place market, and it's been a watershed. And since this marriage, we've received increased tourist arrivals to Cross River State. We have grown it from, from 800,000 to 1.1 million to 1.6 million in 2016. Visitors. These are human visitors to Cross River State. Aquaba wasn't just for business as event organizers took out time to honor women who have performed beyond expectation in Africa. Are judged to be among the best in what they do. The awardees included Gogi Africa co host Neka Isaac Moses for her outstanding performance in African tourism. Being the best African woman in tourism. Congratulations. Congratulations, Masters. I wish to appreciate Aquaba for organizing this because this is the first time I've attended this and it's actually an honor for the top 100 women, I being one of them. It's a humbling experience, I'm honored and it's a privilege for all of us women. It shows that uh, women in tourism are being recognized and that's a good, good step for Aquaba. You know, I feel very uh, privileged you know, to receive this award and to be so recognized. I'm, a, I'm very, very emotional and overwhelmed you know by the kind of um, celebration that i'm getting the way i'm being celebrated i just thank god you know um, tourism in africa is happening uh, there's so many things that we can do to make sure that tourism in africa is reckoned with all across the world it is wonderful to be here at akaba today and for the first time having an award rec recognizing women in tourism because it is an important part of our sector and I think African governments must start recognizing tourism. In the end, guests were treated to a beautiful dance from the Rwanda cultural troupe as well as Carnival Calabar dance troupe.
Gogi, 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 Africa, 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 is the only thing I want to hear. It's the only thing I want to say. Gogi, Africa is for Africa and it's about Africa. Gogi, Africa for Africa. Still on tourism development, we bring you the sights and sounds of the alluring prospects of Lagos waterways and creeks. Don't go away. September 27 is celebrated all over the world as the World Tourism Day to mark the vital and growing impact of tourism sector in economies of countries. Riding on this year's theme, Sustainable Tourism, a tool for development, the Nigerian Association of Tour Operators, NATOP, marked this day with the marketing of cruise tourism in Lagos State. Journalists and stakeholders were present at the exploration of Lagos waterways. Alright viewers, you're welcome on board. We're about to set sail. Everyone is uh, ready on their life jackets and uh, this show is about to begin. You're on to World Tourism Day boat cruise around Lagos Creek. Stay with us. was an exciting expedition as the waterways covered Tazan Jetty, Lagos Kari Creeks, Banana Island, Osborne, Third Mainland Bridge, Bonny Camp, Apapa Dockyard, and above Ilache Town. We equally got a warm welcome at the above Ilache Palace as the traditional ruler gave us an orientation of his kingdom and what his land would offer potential tourists. That was not all, as the boat cruise continued at Inagwe Resort with lunch, entertainment and facility tour. <laughs> Having been celebrated since 1980, World Tourism Day commemoration is gradually gaining awareness in Nigeria as the country shifts focus to tourism as a viable source of revenue. We're celebrating sustainable tourism, a tool for development, as a theme for today's event. And then um, we're excited to celebrate it. Uh, what we're doing here in Inagbe Resort is to show the practical part of tourism it's actually possible for us to explore this, create experience by coming through the creeks and that it's also safe. We've been here, we've had fun. That's the essence of all of this. We're putting together tour operators everywhere in Nigeria, from all the states of Nigeria. Bringing them together, getting them to understand what it means, what tourism really means, and getting them to know places in Nigeria that can be marketed places that they can put together in their packages to sell the potential, you know, clients and tourists who will want to come into Nigeria. 
It is no gain saying that tourism is immensely contributing to the GDP of many countries in Africa, including South Africa, Morocco, Egypt, Kenya, and other East African countries. And it's the World Tourism Day, our expect that to celebrate the World Tourism today. It's not been an easy ride for tourism in Nigeria, but we believe it's doable. We believe Lagos, Nigeria, and the entire nation can market itself as a tourist destination. We have so many untapped gold mines in tourism. We have so many waterfalls, we have mountains, we have scenic beauties, we have tourist sites that we can really market and make a lot of money from. We've gone ground from landmark to the creek. We've seen the longest bridge in Africa, that's the Tom Milan Bridge, 11.8 kilometers. We've gone through the Tinkan Island, the, the heart of Nigerian port of Lagos, and you can tell the impact of tourism in the world now. Because it's creating a lot of opportunities and employment for people all over the world, and then when we talk about tourism in Nigeria, we have a lot of people who don't know, but it is about time we start telling the story. Walking and not just doing the talking, because there's so much about tourism in Nigeria that a lot of people out there need to know. If the tourism sector is well exploited in Nigeria, it can generate billions of naira for the economy. The sector is full of enormous potential that can be used for national development. On Travel Tips, we'll bring you tips and tricks to exploring Lagos, Africa's most popular city. Lagos is a fast-paced and bustling city. Here are some tips and tricks to exploring Africa's most popular city. Bargain. In Lagos, bargaining is seen as a natural flow of events. When you make a purchase, always bargain for a price lower than what the seller proposed. Exchange greetings. Lagosians appreciate good manners above everything else. When in Lagos, greet people you interact with or say a simple hello or good morning. It goes a long way in getting you familiar with people you run into. Learn a few phrases in the local language. After spending a few days in Lagos, some phrases should stick in your head. Common Yoruba phrases like Ekaro and Eshe are easy to remember and go a long way in making a good first impression. Always board colored vehicles. Lagos taxi and buses are denoted by yellow colors with black stripes. They are available at all times. Do not board unknown vehicles that promise to get you to your destination. Instead, use an online service to book a taxi. Ask for directions twice. Finding your way around Lagos can be difficult for a journey just come, especially in secluded places with unidentified streets. While traveling in Lagos, make sure to ask for directions from more than one person 
but don't ask people who do not look responsible or you might risk being misled. Carry enough change for little purchases. Most automated teller machines ATM dispense cash in 1000 Naira notes and 500 Naira notes. Don't give a hawker 1000 Naira note for a 20 Naira purchase or you may end up in a squabble or have to do away with your change. Travel Tip has been brought to you in partnership with Goge Africa Travel Club. Nigeria has always had the potential to become a prime tourist destination in Africa. But how to achieve that has always been the challenge. I do hope we get it right this time. Remember, you can always reach us via our social media platforms. So till then, you stay alive. Kemesia, bye bye, Udaro. Semusakisadwa. Yeah, bye.